Well, hello, everybody. Welcome. This will be your very first time in viewing our lovely uh, city of Tenovia. We're on the continent we call Tenov, which is the island as you know it. Um, I'm living over there. Well, you'll probably end up getting the same tour as the guests who are about to arrive any minute for a little party we're going to be doing. And, um, yep. Perfect. I just learned how to make a building like this. Well, I made this building, but I just learned how to do the octagon shape. Well, I guess a little private tour of uh, my home wouldn't be a bad idea. So I do apologize. Occasionally, the uh, stream will hiccup and stuff like that. And I, I do have a, I need a better computer and better internet eventually. But what can you do? So I've just got uh, a guard tower here. My three guard towers are all the same. Some of them have somebody on it. Aha! Like him, or her, or the scout over there. And then, of course, I've got Granny in here. Here's another guard tower here. Probably going to be the main one because it's the tallest one. My home over here. Nice and quaint. I figured since I was building such a huge area as like a city, better go with a little bit smaller of a home. And I have been quite busy building everything else to really work on my place. Little viewing spot, I guess, here. Just kind of went with the lay of the land. Nice little fountain. Do have to be careful how you look at the guests here. They uh, like to strip. Oh, this is my fire. Yeah, I've got one. Check that out. Isn't it awesome? Well, I'll settle your questions. It is awesome. Guard tower. An additional lookout over here. Just a little pathway over here. This is where I make my gardening stuff. And down here was going to be my garden. Not here, but through the gate. It was going to be my garden. However, I, I wanted to be able to take my dinosaurs and move them over here. So, uh, this is the best place to store some dinosaurs. And... If you're wondering how to get up here, watch your step. Uh, so I've got to... I wanted to use the uh, greenhouse glass because the, the S plus glass, which I do get to build out of here, it doesn't look like glass. When I want it to go and look like glass. Then I've got a little food trough up there that I could just put a little meat or something in there. Don't jump off, otherwise you do jump off, of course. I did not envisage glass it all the way down. Oh, yeah. 
this. And it likes to sink down a little bit, so it was a little bit higher than the foundation, so I had to raise it up. And then it's a little lower than I raised up, so that's the best I could do. And that is my quite little home. Let's go back to the top. Because there are bears, as you saw already. Carnos, Compies, Terror Birds, Sloths, or as I'm going to start affectionately calling them, Megatherium. Oh, I did make it so all the way up. You're not in like a, a dark spot. There's one spot that's a little shady. <laughs> that always gets me. But, anyways. So that's my little home. We've got a garden down there. Most everything I think we're gonna show to everybody. This is one of those things called a rubber band. Man, that was awesome. Morella tops. All right. Going to go and get a few things taken care of and straightened up.
so I can kind of gauge the lights. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, then I will turn you over. <laughs> Inquisitor. Vladimir. Vladimir, some of our guests have arrived. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, hello. I am Inquisitor Vladimir Orlov. Ah, uh, yes, uh, Inquisitor. Uh, I am Commodore Walter Lestrange. Anya, stand of Her Majesty Queen Victoria of England. Very pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you as well. You have got some long uh, fingernails on these uh, chickens. Yes, they are truly a uh, terrifying sight. Um, the gentleman riding the blue one is my knight, Sir Edward. And the other gentleman that you was uh, uh, JT, is my first officer. Where did JT? Marvelous. Well, yes. Um, I think I heard her mention something about uh, parking your animals. Or yes. Would you care to do that? Absolutely. Right this way. So in here, we've got it uh, secured so that uh, wild things cannot uh, come in and uh, claim your animals. Uh, yep. Uh, hello, good sir. I am Inquisitor Vladimir Orlov. I am a... Uh... Banker, I've been here once before. Oh yes, my memory is back again. Ah, Empress. Thank you for excusing me. I appreciate it. We had just uh, barely walked in. Any gentleman would not arrive empty-handed. If you would please accept some gifts on behalf of Nova Britannia and myself. Thank you. Beautiful. You're most welcome. 
Thank you for inviting us. I'm very glad that Could I offer you some refreshments while we wait for our other guests? Absolutely. Um, take us where you will, madam. I'm afraid my torch is broken. <laughs> there we go. Shall we enter a hall? Or shall we go to the tavern? I think the hall would be a, a good place for everybody to meet each other. Right. Yes, we, uh, okay. this is terribly bad form to adjourn to the drinking before everyone has arrived. <laughs> Please come in. Be a trick of the light, trick of design. The glass is one way. Mm -hmm. Very clever. Quite a sight to behold, behold in the daylight. <laughs> this is our grand foyer. I admit, I am impressed. And if you'd like to come down here, I have some refreshments. We are set up for a formal dinner in a, a while, but for now, up to the bar. We have a selection of um, alcoholic spirits available to you. Uh, your grace, I can, uh, I'll be on this side if you, if it pleases you, that way you can uh, be a little bit more with your guests. Should you prefer something uh, non-alcoholic, I do have a few um, juices available as well. Most gracious, milady, thank you. Help yourself. Jean there's wine. First time we've had actual guests show up. So I'm trying to gauge my person's persona around Empress Illyria Yanovich. Toast, then, to our gracious host. Thank you for your invitation. Have you got somewhere that you would like me to put the bottle? Ah, uh, yes, right this way. Is locked. Uh, this one at the far end. Marvelous. There we are. That is quite a passable vintage. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. 
Yeah, we must lock down. Uh, your grace, I should need to uh, step outside a moment. Seems somebody uh, is a little late on their stepping outside. We do have a little bit of uh, class in here. There's the door. Oh, my apologies. I had to uh, excuse myself for a moment. Oh, I'm would sorry, you? My friend, what was that? I just uh, apologize because I had to excuse myself a moment. Of course. Understandable. Empress Iril Illyria. Would you care for me to go and look at the walls to see if our other guests from the north have arrived? Um, we can check. There we go. Much better now. I will, uh, I will adjourn and do so, and I shall be right back. This way, I have a path. Forgot. Gates are glitchy.
is starting to be day bright. It is marvelous as well, as you promised, milady. Your Majesty. Greetings. Um, oh no, not at this time. Searched the gates that I expected them to be at, but no one was there. Commodore Lestrange, um, what did? How would you like me to address you? That Commodore will be just fine, sir. Wonderful. I d I shall do so. Man. I must say, your particular color choice is quite striking. I rather enjoy it. In fact, it reminds me of JT's old people. He joined with us. Oh? Hey, JP? Empress, do you mind if we, uh, have a seat for a moment and visit while we wait for our other guests to arrive. Indeed, they are. They must be nearly a thousand years old apiece. Some of the larger ones, at least. Definitely. I wondered, perhaps, why you had not chosen to build up amongst them that is still forthcoming. Oh, we do have some projects that will be taking us up into the trees. However, I mean, strategically, of course, that would be a wonderful place to have a military sort of defensiveness, you see. It has been a while since the of strategic defenses. Well, then, that is very true, and uh, I suppose I should point out and thank you for graciously allowing us to stay where we crashed. I mean, performed our retrograde landing. Well, I am very happy to hear that your uh, landing uh, was hopefully mostly safe. Uh, yes, we'll say it was safe, sure. I mean, we're still standing here, aren't we, boys? Well, uh, as you know, uh, I was not uh, on the boat uh, for uh, the... Uh, um, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, you know, uh, went up... Thank you. ...during the storm to take a uh, take the pee... Uh, JP don't like to pee uh, below deck in the sink, in the soaking. I'll get that for you, Your you Majesty. Never come out ever. You never get that thing out. Uh, but uh, anyway, it's a big wave coming. Uh, wash uh, JP overboard. Uh, over there, uh, JP uh, land over there. Uh, have to uh, go all the way across. It's a long way. Oh dear, that sounds like an adventure. Well, yes, you know JP. He was crying about it the entire way, but I'm sure it was. I'm glad you're safe, though, sir. Hello, sir. Seems your oh, animal you has know, relieved you know, himself on the floor. You know, even after uh, years of adversity and 
get to every day. Uh, we, we always come up on that. Yes, sir? It uh, would seem as your animal relieved himself on the floor. Well, would you like to come up here and see? Hopefully Thank you. Better be Looks like we have some fog coming in. I've noticed that. It reminds me of old London some days, yeah. Smell as bad as old London, right? That is 100% correct, my friend. Mine, that's the large volcano that we see in the center of here. Have you folks been up there? Uh, yes. Many Amazing, isn't it? The rock. Mm -hmm. Quite dangerous if you don't know where to start. Well, yes. Um, that's what we have Edward here for. Master Scout. And. Should that fail, he's a very large, tough man, and that helps a lot for those situations. Mm -hmm. Well, his whole armor made out of iron. Well, oh, shall we give... Yeah, oh, cool. so sorry. Uh, we can discuss Let armaments at a later point, my friend. Yes, please do. Oh, absolutely. Your Majesty, would you, uh, would you care for me to go and venture for these, uh, other travelers? Or, uh, would you like to do something else? First, I must say, your bush is amazing. I mean, the size of those ferns out there. Um, I mean, I've, I have not seen seen those. Commodore, how come uh, you never take me uh, places uh, like this? Uh, always uh, hot swamps, uh, never uh, beautiful forest. Huh? Huh? Well, JV. Because there comes a point where he gets complacent, and then he gets killed, and I never want to lose you, so I can't let you be complacent, my old friend. Tis adventure in the highlight for you. they get to worn out, you know. of you, however. This is marvelous. You've done a lot of good work here. How long did this take you? Oh. A while. But um, my family and our people have been here for generations. So we've had quite a while to put things together. Now are, are nomadic, so they are still gathering here yet. I see. So there's others out. Interesting. I do believe that some of my crew may still be lost on the isle as well. Hopefully, they make their. Well, it is fairly large. Um, this island of ours. Have you come by where we are set up? I have. I, I have stopped by a few times. Unfortunately, nobody has been awake or available to speak with me. You have my humblest apologies, my dear. Had I known it was you, I would have made a point. 
Oh, no problem. No problem at all. I'm sure you had your hands full. Your Majesty, do you mind if I uh, uh, show the guests my little uh, city over there? It might be a, a good way to uh, pass some of the time while these uh, Northmen travel. Um, I think I can entertain them for a little bit. Empress Illyria. Empress Illyria, do you mind if I take the commoner and the other guests to show them my little city over there? To where? To my little uh, compound over there that you permitted me to uh, inhabit. I believe they may be in their thoughts for a few more moments. Oh, all right. Kind of found my persona guy kind of thingy. Hello.
worry uh, about that uh, sometime. Uh, uh, space out and just stare at the corner for a little while and uh, think about things. I, uh, much apologies. I understand. I've done that a time or two myself. So I uh, will uh, we'll be doing some uh, more tinkering and uh, adjusting again, and make the uh, the description have the uh, information for how to join our server, and uh, join a faction and uh, enjoy playing with people. At the moment, the Lestrange, the uh, Commodore Lestrange and his people have quite a few people, so we'll be filtering some of the people that. So, like, if you join us, or when you join us, I should say, um, you'll be filtered into either the Vikings of the North or the uh, Russians type of those people who live right here. Ooh, I must see the view. Ah, uh, yes. Um, don't want to walk out there when it's dark like this, though. Bad things might happen. I understand. Uh, we have a, a swamp by, uh, by our keep uh, sometime in the dark. You uh, wander in there. Uh... Did you? Must be my mistake. Oh. <gasps> That's not natural. I don't think he had too much alcohol. 
I don't either. But I do believe when he wakes up, his feet will be sore and he'll have a kink in his neck. Maybe he farted in his suit. Oh, that would be deadly. Not enough uh, venting in those uh, suits, I guess. Uh. I think he needs lots of hugs. I think hugs heal. Man. I I agree. Da, you should give this man some hugs. Some hugs from friends. Group hug. What happened here? Group hug. Uh, Commodore. Um, we're. Ah uh, yes, uh, a group hug. Oh my, his hereditary narcolepsy. Yes, yes, this sadly happens. Good family from time to time. Do you feel group hug would be good for this man? Um, feel what would be good for this man? A what group hug. Uh, oh, yes, yes, definitely. I've been told that he's quite a fan. Oh, good. There we are, young man. Big hugs for you. Yes, there we are. He was hugging King on the on the way here, uh, hugging it so much he hugged it to to death uh, on the on the beach. Just since. Oh, Randall, my good man, have you been to London many times? I've been there a few times on official uh, spanking business, and uh, to be honest, I'm not a fan. <laughs> the smell. <Where> <laughs> Yes, absolutely. Um, sadly, some of the lower class uh, <coughs> lack the manners of the supposed upper class. No better. Guru Pug. Guru Pug. But, uh, yes, um, London, despite its beauty, can be... I'm going to try and practice that and, not have, and have that as my in-character voice. Oh my, I hope he does awaken soon. How very rude of him. Be make a note. This goes on his permanent record. Terrible shame. Terrible shame. Oh, Commodore. So our companions, are they beyond the point of technology that they... These others? It would uh, seem that way. Commodore, would you and your uh, men care to uh, see the compound as a, a way to pass some of the time? Group hug. Yes, sir. Absolutely. If you, if you do, JP, what say you? A tour? Vlad is quite the builder. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. It will be right this way when you're ready. I have uh, taken his uh, point away on the scorecard uh, I have for him, and I have also uh, deposited the uh, written warning pocket for passing out in a Excellent. Good man, JP. Good man. Oh. It seems as your animal has really got to use the restroom. But the compound is right this way. Uh, 
not aware it is to uh, get uh, that, that uh, streaky clean, you know? Uh, I mean, uh, must uh, scrub that for hours to get all the smears out. Don't touch the glass. She makes me clean it. <laughs> but right this way, friends. Small, it's the new. Uh, no, uh, we have a lot of land around here. We must uh, occupy it. Magnificent. Very well done, sir. Uh, thank you, Commodore. Here's my guard tower, or one of them. What's your title, my friend? Inquisitor. What exactly do you ask? Questions. Yes, in regards to <laughs> everything. Inquisitor, where I'm from, religious tome. Uh, I do anything that uh, my empress requests of me. If it is a inquirer about uh, a person's faith, I, I should go do so. Or if it is a inquire as to why a person is uh, swimming upside down in a pond, I will go do so as with that as well. But right over this way. My apologies. You should be able to go up. Is everybody in? Perfect. It should be fixed. Let's go ahead. No. I should be at the back. I have seen this place many a time. I shall give this letter a lesson. Perfect. Oh, up, my good friend. Go up. Well, pardon me, madam. I say! Oh, my! Be very careful when you get near that one. I have dispatched guards around, and um, sometimes it gets a little warm in this part of the, the neighborhood. But this is my main... A Commodore, if you'd like, I can, uh, we can show you another guard around here. And uh, Oh, he's right over there. He might be able to reverse the effects of this one over here. I see. Oh, yes, that fellow over there. Oh, yes, marvelous. Hello, sir. <laughs> uh, he's not oh, embarrassed. Uh, I had to go ask him some questions. He did, I did not like the answers he gave, so um, surgery happened. And there's also another gentleman around here, too. I say. The questions are serious. At sometimes, yes. Surgery, my goodness. I'm not a very good surgeon, I must admit, but I make do. Anywho, on with the tour. Good. Is that a good way for you guys to get in? That'll work. Yes, thank you.
Uh, I do apologize. I must keep my uh, guard towers locked. I, they must remain protected. Oh, yes, security of the realm and whatnot. Yes, yes, the defense of the... This is my home. I have not had much time to work on it with the uh, new projects I've been given. I did make it very quaint as uh, I wanted to own a whole compound. Thank you. I assume this way you can look out and see which of your people require <clears throat> question. Ah, uh, yes, exactly. I must keep them in accordance with the uh, Empress Illyria's laws. Yes, um, about those, um, did you have any that you and I should perhaps be discussing? Any infractions that is doing it? Do not shit in the capital. The keep, that is. That's a, a very formal place. Well, down here, I have a... Uh, right, yes. mm -hmm. I have a, a little fountain to uh, admire. And as you see, it, uh, it blows in the wind a little bit. It is quite nice. Oh, thank you. Hello again, madam. I would just... Oh, my goodness. Do all of your guards do that? Uh, yes, it is a defense mechanism. <clears throat> it is a, a way to keep some people at bay. And it gets hot. By being naked for a brief moment and then appearing clothed. Uh, yes, <clears throat> it uh, messes with people's minds. Makes them think that they did not see what they saw, so they look again, and then they see what they saw, and they are frightened to death. Well, right this way. Excuse me, but uh, I may sit on that cliff over there with a spike to spend hours uh, looking at your guards. Oh, um, uh, if there's one in particular, I might, uh, I might give her a little bit of a day off. If, uh, well, presuming it was a her anyway, I might give her a day off and let her come visit you, as long as she returns. if you come up this way. We're off at the back. Oh my. But, uh... I'd like quite a drop, yes. Let's not do that. Ah, yes. I like this fire. It is very cozy. But, on with the tour. If I may say, my lady, your um, structures are all very beautiful, but they are in varying architectural... The outer walls seem much more modern than this particular area. Is that intentional? Uh, yes, this was uh, modeled after the village that I grew up in, before I came to work for Imperial area. All right, up to a little bit more. I have a little gardening area. Right at the very top. Yes, quite nice. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you, my friend. I do have a little bit of technology in here, though. Uh, it was not a part of the uh, original village that I had grew up in. It is right down this way. Watch your head. Well, 
one, two, three. Perfect. Right up here is where I'll be uh, leaving most of my animals for their protection and then as well as my protection. And if we are uh, aboard, we shall. Uh, ooh. We have. Oh, JP? Did we get him? Oh, my apologies, my friend. I hope you're okay. Do not jump. Uh, down we go. He's a tough one, that one. He'll be all right. There is good living in this neighborhood. That one is tough too, apparently. Well, we, we, maybe we just uh, took uh, the uh, faster way down. Um, the wee wee is in the, the the bushes. We do not have a bathroom set up. I've been a little bit busy. <laughs> Just gotta go hey, wee wee in the tree tree. Keep that in mind, huh? Uh, yes, please. Uh, looking trees around here. I shouldn't say that much. Oh, thank you. That is how they grow so tall. I have been working here for quite some time. Um, maybe our guests have finally arrived from the north. Um, it has uh, been a little bit. They may have uh, journeyed here just now. Oh, the uh, capital is uh, over here. Right this way, my friends. All roads lead to the capital. Maybe I should go investigate on these men of the north and see if they are all right. Oh, your friend seems to have uh, stood tall. Do not know. Let us give him another group hug. Oh, yes, group hug it is, my friend. I see. Why is he stabbing that so curiously? Ah, uh, there was a terror bird there. Living around here. Doesn't sleep well. Sorry, what were you saying, Inquisitor? Oh, Emperor Silveria has much more important things to say than myself. But around here, we have to uh, be well armed and defend us from the bears as he is attacking over there the terror bird he just killed and many many more things around here do not get to be very soft and live in these lands my empress is a very unique one she has a way of being nice well yet stern if you get my questioning Um, Empress, did they, um, did they send any uh, private ravens your way that uh, might help us know if they will be arriving today? Um, let me check. One moment, please. 
All right, thank you. Ah, yes, welcome, my friend. Welcome back. We have been giving you group hugs. We have uh, been trying to resuscitate you and get your heart going again. It seems to have worked. My friends, it seems to have worked. We, uh, they, uh, a light drinker, I guess. We have one drink and pass out. I mean, uh, no other uh, explanation. Maybe I should let the bartender right, know of this. Cool. Your voice is raspy. Do you need a drink of water then? <laughs> oh, it appears as though your animal is eating a lot of fiber. It is true that it is his voice. Oh my goodness. I know. Here shortly. Alrighty. Perhaps time works differently up north. I think it moves a little bit slower. <laughs> yes. I was saying the same thing as you, uh, my Your Majesty. Uh, while, the, while the guests arrive uh, from the north, would you like to uh, have everybody meet in the dining hall? That way uh, it keeps the throne room as a unveiled surprise for everybody. It might give them a break from their feet. They wear these hard shoes like us. I'm sorry, sir. Did you ask me a question? I was asking uh, my lady here if uh, we should let everybody sit in the dining room and uh, rest their feet while we wait for these people of the north. Maybe a uh, a little bit of uh, information about where you came from. Uh, I would be pleased to hear of it. I would be happy to tell you the tale without you asking me any surgery requiring. Oh, oh most wonderful. Uh, three of those creatures you have on your shoulders just outside the uh, window. Oh, there are some friends around here. Swimming in the water just down below. Uh, just went underneath the rock there, but uh, oh, there. Uh, yes, there. I, I actually had arranged for um, a few to be here for. I shall deal with that uh, terrible bird over there. This is awesome, guys. I'm having fun. It's kind of like when I was Leander, you know, having lots of fun building Grendel and her house. Oh, that was a fun house. I love that house. But now, I am Inquisitor Vladimir Orlov of Her Majesty's Empire. Are there any of these other foul beasts that need to be slain? Hello, Bob.
Seems as though my food's not going down. <gasps> okay, guys, I'm about to close your eyes for a second. Alrighty, my friends, welcome back. So in, in preparation for the uh, this new video series, I've been watching a lot of Popovich. Would you guys like another drink? Absolutely, my dear. Commodore, did I miss the tales of this uh, London you had spoken of earlier? Oh, not as of yet. Um, certainly let me have a quick drink, and I'm sure between myself and Randall you'll fill your head with tales of London. Wonderful. Oops. That is most welcome. Um, right over here is a very nice table. It has six, which I believe is... The present. Don't need them there. Um. Yeah. Commodore, if you would sit in this middle one here, it might be most uh, most appropriate for you. This middle one right here. And maybe if the uh, the banker gentleman were to sit to the. Uh, Empress is left. That might be a uh, most appropriate to uh, keep uh, the Commodore's men on his next to him for uh, company's sake. Yes, um, I come from a land far from here, uh, England by name, and uh, London is the capital city of England. Uh, the last time I it was almost 600 to 700,000 souls, believe it or not. Oh, that is um, most impressive. Watchful reign of Queen Victoria. So, as you can see, Empress, I'm quite accustomed to uh, feminine royalty. Uh, in fact, uh, of intellect and future thought that we are all familiar with. Um, anyways, uh, we traveled across the sea daughter from a boarding academy, and upon our return, our ship was beset by strange weather effects, and we made an accident close to a mountain. Um, I'm not quite sure how Randall arrived here, but uh, the name Montgomery is back home for us. His family is quite large, and uh, it seems that you've been to London recently as well. Yes, I had to uh, go over there and procure uh, some supplies for the new bank that will be officially opening a couple days. Well, that's marvelous. Um, perhaps uh, while you're there, if uh, anyone's inquiring as to what happened to my ship, know that we're all right. Oh, yes, I could do that. Do you want me to tell them that you crashed or that you... Um, we're exploring new lands and colonizing them for Her Majesty. She knows the drill. <laughs> it would seem as this may have happened a couple of times if she uh, knows the drill. I might be uh, out of line in speaking, so though. Would I be out of line for saying so? No, no, oh, no, no, no. Not. Um, of her, of her ether navy are chosen for their ability to think independently of the crown. For wise as she is, she cannot be everywhere. We are trust interests. That's quite a bit of trust. 
may agree with you, madam. Yes, certainly. And I most humbly put forward that I have worked very hard and have earned that trust. Thanks. That uh, contraption, uh, what, uh, what do you call that uh, machine? Uh, Edward uh, fall asleep again out there. Uh, figure I put him inside for uh, safe Notice the harness, but uh, uh, he uh, wake up before I could get him uh, safely inside. Uh, what uh, what it's for? Is it the uh, the wooden one just outside the d windows here? We oui, the uh, one with the wheel and the the big stick with the rope with the harness for uh, go around your shoulder. Oh, yes, that is uh, one of the defenses. Oh, defenses? Yes. We are currently uh, what, testing. What uh, uh, defense it do? It, uh, hit people with the stick or uh, what? Come here, it is obviously a very large catapult. They are known as trebuchets, <laughs> mangonels. Uh, yes, that is what they are called. Uh, this is actually where we're from, a relatively old weapon. Um, but very effective nonetheless. some magnificent hair. I noticed it when he was running out there. I didn't want to say anything to embarrass him. My good. Greetings, my friend. Run before you get chopped in half. Run. <laughs> the slow ones, unfortunately, they get... Uh, Chopped in half or eaten by our hungry tigers. Well, yes, um, there's a, a very wise man who studied at Oxford uh, University in London, uh, Charles Darwin, and uh, he speaks of the survival of the fittest. It would seem that that Gallimimus was not fit. Did you see the legs on that thing? The legs are here. Mark. The Oh, I would be uh, most honored to do whatever you wish, uh, my lady. If you believe that the I shall, uh, I shall go there and see if they are there. Sure, Khan. Let us go. Find our guests. For a while, I believe that I would try talking uh, similar to this so that I can be a little bit more better at it. Oh, 
My apologies. I thought uh, I thought you guys would have been arriving on some sorts of an animal. I am Vladimir, uh, Inquisitor Vladimir Orlov of uh, Her Royal Empire. You must be our, our friends from the north. Um, do not believe I have met either of you. Uh, my name is King Ragnar Lothbrook. King Ragnar Lothbrook. Uh, pleased to meet you, uh, my friends. Right this way. I'll tell uh, I'll tell my cat to follow. Uh, one thing to be of note is uh, do not shit in the keep. It is a, a very formal place. But this way we go. It's my first time ever, like, cussing in a game, you know? I was nearly cussing when I was King uh, Carver Blackrain. With uh, Cletus. Are you, uh. Oh. I seem to have lost my friends. My friends. My friends. Oh. My apologies. I will run a little slower. Thank you. Ah, yes, uh, Empress Illyria has uh, bred this up for me. It is quite a good friend, as soon as it gets a little bit of health on it. Meat on its bones, meat on its bones. Oh, don't run. Uh, do be uh, warned, this is not a very nice neighborhood. There are carnos, bears, uh, terror birds, sloths, um, what else? Copies, um, all sorts of things that wish to kill a person inside these walls. Blasted rain, you blin! My friends, have I... Are you guys still here? My friends! My friends! My apologies, I must have sprinted again. Sorry, my friends. I will uh, I will be sure to walk. The place here causes quite the headache. Oh, really? Uh, my apologies. I will uh, I will check a little more often. This blasted rain. It's such a Berlin. There's quite a bit of beauty to uh, admire all at once. Go away. Ah, thank you, Sir Khan. This is most gracious, my friend. He does not like bodies very well, it would appear.
this you see on our left you guys here ah this you see on our left is our capital remember the rule Right this way, my friends. I will take you inside. Did I lose them already? Right this way, my friends. Right this way. My friends, this is my empress. Ilaria Yanovich, Empress, this is King Ragnar Lothbrok and um, uh, Mrs. Um, Ironbane. Pleasure to meet you. My, my new friends, these are some other friends. Uh, where did the, the, the Commodore go? Ah, here he is. This is Commodore. Uh, Lestrange, I believe his name is. Yes, yes, quite. King Ragnar. My lady, I will, uh, I will put my cat up real quick. And you? Madam, very pleased to meet you as well. Love and it, love and it. It did take a little, a day about to build this place here. My empress made the capital and she uh, set the president as she would like it for most of these structures around here. Empress Il Illyria, well, would you, uh... Thanks. Sorry about it. I did not mean to cut you off. Oh, no, it is my apologies. Uh, you are the Empress, and you know what is best for the kingdom here. Would you, uh, like to take everybody in for the meeting now, or uh, take them on a short tour while we wait for day? Maybe some refreshments while we wait for daylight. Oh yes, I will get in the uh, the bartending spot. We have some. Uh, yes, uh, I do know that uh, Empress Illyria has gone through quite pains to make this uh, quite a elegant eating room. But in this picture, we have various alcoholic beverages. We do have some non alcoholic, if that would be uh, more to your fancy. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Oh. Hello, my lady. Your animals have hairstyles. Oh, it would seem that one of them relieved themselves on the floor. Mm. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I do not remember where the food is to offer to our guests. 
Which which cabinet was it again? Oh right. You know a little bit more than me about them. Would you like to offer them to the guests? I do, I do not want to step on your toes. Did you know that your crown shines through brightly at the night? Oh, I suppose that's good then. Yes, I think it is uh, the nifty gifts you've made out of these uh, lights. But my friends, would you like some uh, be food? Beverages? Food. Not beverages, food. I've got some delicacies. I don't want to offer what is uh, ours for dinner at the uh, feast afterwards. <clears throat> King Ragnar, if I may introduce my first officer, Jean Pierre. This is uh, King Ragnar. <coughs> Hello, yeah. Yeah. The lady Iron Dane, I was told. Yeah, pleasure to meet you, uh, your highness. This gentleman is Sir Edward. He is one of our defenders of the realm. Nice to meet you, Sir Edward. Nice to meet you. <coughs> we actually don't live too terribly far from each other. I thought it might be good if you two met each other as well. Um, yes, quite. Have you seen Nova Britannia? Has, uh, have you been by? No, we have not. We've, uh, we've been spending a lot of time in the uh, wild of the north. Yes, frisky wild it is indeed. I think that, uh, Sir Edward there, he's about as big as some of them bears we've been fighting. Yes, we, uh, we did encounter some of those actually on our trip this way from our home as well. Um, they also like picking up residents in the Empress's woods here. Indeed. If you find any here that beats your fancy, please feel free to take them. Oh, thank you. On the way in, I couldn't help but notice they were all along the beach. I think we needed to, uh, if possible, do a beach read before we. There is definitely a good handful of them along the coast. big and furry as they are, this would be a little warm for them. I think they're drawn to our pond. Oh, sir. The, uh, the little otters in the pond, please. Well, I did arrange to have some otters here tonight. Perhaps for a little event of my own. I mean, even Master. the otters call her empress. <coughs> Impressive. I did happen to bring you guys some gifts for uh, hosting this. Well, thank you. Just 
some of the tools of our people. Well, thank you. That was very generous. With your blessing, I, I might like to uh, try out this shield and see what it looks like on me. Oh, thank you. I thought I had uh, picked it up. My my apologies on that. I'll just look at it and I'll give it right back. No matter. Oh no, it is a gift for you. I made two sets. I figured. Uh... One for the Empress, and second. Oh, that is most gracious of you. Thank you, King Lothbrok. Boy, I think I'm butchering his name. These are quite impressive uh, works of art. But with day, I do not want to uh, impose uh, where I should not. Oh, that is most gracious. I do fight a lot of things in our own yard. Yes, Commodore, you are so just very impressive as well. <laughs> well, you know, Dirty. I don't like to brag. How did the word get out? You just pulled it out, my friend. Uh, just right there. He's always pulling it out, looking for compliments. <laughs> look for, old boy. <clears throat> anyway. Well, on that note. Well, you polish it enough. Um, shall we? <laughs> Head on up here for a quick... Oh yes, I think that is a great idea. Vlad, are you ready in, or not? Oh, I am ready. I think we should uh, let... Oh yes, I think we should also let them see our great uh, Imperial flower. They could be quite nice during the day. Uh, I think you would be the most appropriate person to break the threshold here and uh, introduce everybody to the throne. <laughs> I believe that we are um, Empress Yanovich, I believe that they are all waiting for a uh, invitation to come into the throne room with its uh, great formality. Oh, please, please join me. Um, if it's uh, with your blessing, I would like to uh, help our guest to find his uh, appropriate seat. Both of them, and they're uh, second in command. Um. You could do though with that as well. I, I would be happy to watch. Uh, that will be fine with my just one moment there. Oh, sure. Friends, thank you for coming. I have invited you all here. So we um, just you to the new arrivals and if you're taking uh, the land and apparently the holding. I thought it would be good to invite them here. So before we get started on that, I just wanted to say welcome, and that I do wish our, your group, your faction, well here, and 
uh, to prosper. As such, I believe that in order for that to happen, uh, the leaders of our group should get together on mutual standing. While my group has been here for generations, and a lot of the ruins that you'll find out among this island are of ours or perhaps our enemy. <laughs> um, I just wanted to make it uh, known that we do welcome you and we do wish you well. Thank you for your most gracious Sorry, welcome. Class, you may direct them if you'd like. Mm -hmm. Which would please me very much. Uh, Commodore Lestrange, will you and uh, mm, First Officer um, JP, I believe his name is, uh, follow me this way. If you look very closely, you'll see a little bit purple, and that is an easy way to walk up. And these would be your seats. Um, King Lothbrook and um, uh, Lady uh, Ironbane, if you will follow me this way. If you look closely, you'll see a little bit of purple and uh, there is a, a way to walk up. And these would be your seats here. All right, my lady. I will. Uh, I will follow you to our seats. Yes, it is indeed. Great. It is. My apologies, Commodore. Oh no, I was commenting. It was a proper court-like situation. Very, very quite. So when you were visiting here, these would be your seats that I would like to look at to show respect and to your position and to your status. Indeed, most gracious. Thank you. Um, Empress Illyria, have you let them look know to look above you? I do, I do not know if you have. Uh... And if you direct your gazes up to our imperial tower. There's, there's some architecture here. Can't get any more interesting. It does. Yes, quite nice. Quite lovely. How long has this building been here? Uh, I do not know. It has been uh, around longer than I have. Uh, my uh, my mother was a courier in a village, which I have uh, done my best to replicate. Um, uh, Empress Illyria has been here, um, as far as I know, all of her life, and uh, I believe that this particular building has been here um, what was it to be now a um, hundred years or so I'm just fascinated with the walls I mean when you came in you couldn't see inside but then you walk in and it's just so open and you almost get the feeling that someone's watching Not like anything I've ever seen.
Yes, in the, uh, the wilderness here, we are always watching. We must, if you, uh, you, you must know, yes. technology that we we can actually see our lands around us however have some measure of privacy while we're within our feet a uh, milady if you uh, don't mind i would uh, excuse myself for a moment mm -hmm. oops i haven't been drinking much Would I go up and get hers first? Yes, I would go up and get hers first. Oh, hello, my friends. Do not mind me. Whoops. Blasted ladder. This is where Empress Illyria will be uh, having her main home. Uh, upon the, the one that you see on the right, where all the names are at. Up, oh, my good steed, up. Oh. Go down and wait for me again. Inquisitor Empress. Now I should do mine last. Great. Great. Hello, my friends. I see you're still doing your business. That is most appreciative. No, it's not the most appreciative. But it is. I know that uh, Empress Illyria wants more otters in. Oops. Crap. I know she wants more otters around. Good thing I was in the bushes. Up arms, take me up. Shall I be doing more construction for my empress's home? She was so gracious enough to grant unto me the location that I requested to recreate my village that I grew up in. Nope. Uh, king. That works. There's no time at all to get back to the keeper. However, it is quite some time to get up to the Griffins. Mm. 
No, I should be looking for the Commodores. Griffin. What do you guys think of this voice of mine? I hope to make it an impressive one. Yes, I do. It seems as though you guys are not bothered by uh, me. Which is good. And good indeed. Whoops. I have fallen off that one once. And now this one. But this one's okay. Because this one takes me closer to the ladder. Yep, I go as quickly as my arms will take me. Oh, crap. Come on down. Do I have any more food on me? No. Quickly now, I'm on a time limit. Unless she makes me clean the windows again. Blasted windows. Oh, that was a good one right there. Wait for me at the bottom this time. Shush. Commodore, nope. Commodore Strange's Griffin here. Have we any food in this kitchen? No. You imagine you mean Oxford University? No. They teach that to the layman. So we tell after my next fall. See, which is why I wear it for the next fall. Oh, you get out of here. Run into me while I try to get up a ladder. I think one should do the trick for now. Oh yes. Oh definitely. It will uh, heal me full. Provided I do not cause much more damage to myself. Alrighty then. Let us go with Rebecca's. Karabayam. Took the Commodore's Griffin last last time. I shall take the Commodore or his lieutenant's First officers, loot, whatever, Griffin this time.
Oops. Perfect. There should be only one more jump necessary. And then I go visit my Empress and heal my wounds. Blasted heights. Blasted! Stupid blasted! You do not wait for me down here! Blasted! Blasted! Oh, you're gonna get it! You're gonna get it! If you do not come down here... Okay, you okay. You are excused, but just barely. Up! Up! Oh, you on a thin rope with me! Thank you. Perfect. One and more. And I should get to drink while I'm on my way. Mist. Oh, come on, my friend. My Empress must be retiring to bed soon. Up. You are getting better? Yes. I nearly hit the water. My goodness, what has happened in the throne room? This is a place of most formality. There was a faint... <clears throat> oh, he's taken one of his naps again, it seems then, huh? Ah, yes. All right. Well, stay up here, my lady. Do not catch it. Walk in and see the king of the north dragging around one of the Commodore's men with his blessing, it would seem. Oh.
But, uh, your majesty, I have uh, prepared the items that you have requested. At uh, your convenience. I shall check something. My lady, um, if you would be so kind as to remind me how long this particular capital has uh, been here. Okay. If you would be so kind as to remind me how long this particular capital building has been here. I thought maybe at least 100 years, but I... My my memory is failing on that. Well, 
Oh, it would seem... Thank you, my king. I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Do we need another group hug for these uh, sleeping friends of ours? Oh, I missed it. I shall go give my own uh, little cuddling here shortly. Yes, absolutely. Please do. Oh, there are two of them, and they're holding hands. Holding hands, I say. And one's holding their, their foot, the opposite foot. Is this some sort of a game of... Uh, what, what sort of a game could this be? Oh. <laughs> Would you like some uh, clothes, my king? I shall go uh, fetch you up here. <laughs> I shall be right back. All right, my friend, King Lothbrok, I have got you a pair of clothes if you would like to wear them. I have also got a pair of clothes if your lady would like to wear them when she arrives back. Here it is. Oh, not the problem, my friend. Ah, yes, time for my bear hug for his friends of mine. Oh, wake up. Have we tried um water on them? Ah, yes. Of course, we would have tried water. My empress is here. She would, she would know such a thing. He really 
needs to get more sun, this fellow. Oh, yes, and when he is swimming, close his eyes. He doesn't like to tell anyone this, but I think he cries himself to sleep at night. Yeah. Oh. Terribly sad. That is most unfortunate. Oh. Ah, there we are. Look at you. Brave little better. You showed the fur was pretty hot. Yes, I. You were wearing fur, and of course that's why you were warm. Isn't this a bit of a strange mystery? You see, I recognize several of the cultural aspects of this here. However, we don't seem to match up chronologically, if that makes any sense. We have old texts of people who grasped and spoke in your way, but they predated us by several hundred years. Did you dealings with England? Many moons ago, perhaps? I know my great-great-grandfather. Mother did. I have traveled there Trading a few times myself. myself. I don't, I don't and I don't, I don't say this to, to be inflammatory, but yes, raiding are, are short, of course. From my time, your people haven't done that for several hundred years. are led by a great bear of a man named Peter. Um, he's trying very, very hard to turn Moscow into a center for enlightenment across the ages. Unfortunately, many of his people are not backing him. Hmm. And yet, you possess technology and architectural work that is beyond what Peter's people do. And there are giant lizards that walk the earth that haven't for such a long time. There might be some magic going on here. What do you think? King Ragnar, you said you crashed here. Was there perhaps My lady, do you mind if I uh, have a word with you at a little bit private location? Oh, All right. It, um, with them coming from separate uh, time frames, would they, um, would they be friend or foe? Oh, I might not be far enough. Uh, to us, I, at this point, it uh, does not bother me if they go to war with each other, but uh, it does bother me if they choose to go to war with uh, Tenovia. Ah, yes, that is uh, most wise of you. However, 
I do believe in the future. There could definitely be potential. Ah, uh, yes. They might uh, try to learn different things, uh, you say, yes? All right, uh, thank you. I just wanted to know if I should uh, uh, tailor myself to be a little more aggressive with them if they were uh, to be f foes instead of currently friends. Most wonderful. I do not want to. Uh, um, I do not want to be uh, inhospitable. I guess they would say over in uh, this England that uh, the gentleman talked about. Oh, yes, most definitely. That was, uh, that was my question, that I needed a, a word in private, uh, just so I can know how to proceed. Oh, uh, would you remind me one more time? What is... What is... My lady? Yes, um, uh, hmm. I didn't mean to leave you out of the conversation, old man. Please come to join us. Well, uh, Sir Edward is up and going. Who oh. had Edward in the pool as the first to awaken? It was not here, but I thought about uh, maybe... Uh, a great big hug that uh, would might have brought him back to life. I have tried several times with this other gentleman. Oh, oh. There is another one that is awaking. I did not know she was asleep. Oh. feel better, all right? You're welcome to try. The, yes, the, um, where did you go, my friend? The, uh, I think he's walking. All uh, right, I think he's walking too. The, uh, the building where you left your animals, right over here. It is, a, uh, it is safe and we keep it unlocked if you would like to uh, spend the night. I do not know what would be best for you, my friend. Do you know your way home, my friend? Yes, I do. Most wonderful. I shall make sure that the door is open. I run at it at an angle. Ah, yes, much like that, my friend. Safe journey home.
Um, occasionally, I like to pick on the uh, the smother animals around here, like uh, make a joke about them. For instance, why did the dodo cross the path? I have no idea. To get to the other side. Ha <laughs> ha. Caught him. What would you call a cow with three legs? Utterly ridiculous. No, I was going for ground beef. Maybe that was the two-legged joke. I do not remember that one anymore. So scratch that one. I, I messed up my own joke. Dang it. Oh, there's this other one. It's more of a story if you have a, a moment to hear it. It goes like this. Um, there was a farmer who had a, um, a fioma named Bessie. And Bessie was his favorite fioma. It crapped like nobody's business. Made him very profitable in the wares of vegetables. And anyway, he was running down the road. Not here, of course, because we, we treat the, uh, the tamed animals with respect. Oh, I'll run away. It is running away. Well, back to the story, my friends. So, uh, there was a drive-by. An enemy gangster mafia type of person came by and just killed this Fioma. Most unfortunate, yes, I know. There was an inquisitor, much like myself, came by asking questions. Saw the poor pig that it wasn't, it was nearly dead, it was, it was on the brink of death, pulled out his rifle and ended his life in a very humane and fashionable fashion. Then he asked the farmer if the farmer was okay. The farmer, remembering that he that this inquisitor, much like myself, um, walked up, saw Bessie in a horrible pain, and ended its life in a humane as possible faction, but knew if it was not okay, it must die. So his answer was yes. Yes, I am just fine. Thank you very much, Inquisitor, for asking. Later, they bring this report in front of the um, uh, Commodore. What is the the judge type of person called in New Orleans again? I forgot the word. Magistrate or barrister. Oh, it was the first one. Magistrate, thank you very much, my friend. They, they brought this case before the magistrate. The farmer was suing for impunitive damages against his life and that of his Bessie, his favorite Fioma, who crept like nobody's business, might you remember. The inquisitor had asked of this farmer at the time of the crime, did you or did you not say that you were okay and just fine and thanked me even for asking? The farmer said yes. Yes, I did. But, if you would be with, uh, bear with me a moment, I had saw what you did to uh, Bessie, my favorite Fioma. You killed it because it was not doing fine. I do not want you to kill me as well. So therefore, I said that I was doing just fine. That way I might spare my own life. I will need to work on the punchline on that one, apparently. My apologies. The story got kind of sad there. I feel a bit of empathy oh. for the Fiomia, you know. Maybe next time I will leave a little bit of the sadness out. That way I get to the end a little quicker, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> it makes me feel any better, as we were discussing.
discussing from various points of view. Uh, and humor has still not taken over the world, so plenty of work to go, old chap, and I appreciate the effort. Oh, I shall do my best. I've got a few others up my sleeves. As you see, I've got long sleeves, you see. I've long sleeves, long arms, long sleeves. It's marvelous. I, I do need oh. It would appear as though it... Thank you, my friend. Is your lady wondering what her... Oh, my lady. My mistress. Now, dagnabbit son of a... Oh no! Maybe it is going around again. Just out of curiosity's sake, what do you th guys think of this particular um, planter arrangement? Oh, son of a gun! It kicked me out. It stopped recording. Well then, my friends, if it's still recording and just showing me a false image, I apologize. I will uh, see you in a little while.